gonna make a quick video on the thermal piles and the thermal couples. I have a White Rogers mechanical gas valve here, Honeywell electronic gas valve here, and then over here is a burner assembly with no gas valve. But the thermal couple is right here. So we've got the outer metal and then a dissimilar metal up here that will screw into the mechanical gas valve. And when you press this down, you will open up the line for the gas to go through and down to the pilot tube. Once this mag assembly in here gets enough magnetic charge, magnetic field from the thermocouple, or millivolts I should say, it creates that magnetic field. So anything over 13, and it'll typically level off in between 20 and 27, that mag assembly now has enough magnetic power to hold itself down, and when you release, it stays open. That lets the gas go down to the pilot. Now, once that's extinguished, at, uh, the millivolts will drop, so at about five millivolts, that mag assembly will drop back to the closed position and shut all the gas off. The electronic gas valve works a little bit differently. Uh, it's got a thermal pile. It's, uh, you know, four or 500 millivolts, powers this, uh, uh, control board in here and this little light and once it loses its signal uh, this will shut down also and the light will stop blinking and I'm going to show you this real quick I'm going to take a lighter and I'm going to start heating up the thermal pile and when it gets up above a certain range in millivolts the valve will kick on and that light will start flashing. And there it goes. Hopefully you can see that light flashing on camera. Maybe right, right there. Let's see if we can get a better angle. There we go. Okay. So that's how the thermal pile works. Now that's going to flash for a little while as it cools down. And once it uh, drops down below a certain millivolt, that will stop. Now, real quick on the thermal pile. Like I said, easy way to tell if it's getting millivolts, this light flashes, they make it easy on you too. If you wanna get your millivolt reading, you get your multimeter, that thermal pile hot, and you test them right there. Nice and simple. Okay, now let's talk about testing the thermocouples, because this can be done in a couple different ways. And one way is a little bit easier than the other. You do not need to disconnect the thermocouple from the valve to test it. If you have, let me see if, if you have an alligator clip, it makes it a little bit easier because you can clip clip the alligator clip right there and then you can test right here now let's see what this is right now okay. nothing okay now we're going to some fire to this and move this meter up so you can kind of see it we already got some registering there you see how quick that is there we go that's what you would not that high in the 20 to 27 range typically let's see it 
Let's see how high it'll go. <laughs> kind of losing my... The thermal couple go hot. Okay. Now let's talk about the easier way to do this. If you don't want to disconnect your thermal couple, put your alligator clip on the outside. Okay. And then I don't have three hands, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna heat this thermocouple up. And then I'm gonna touch this little port on the bottom here. And there it is. So there's two little ports right here to the ECO. Go on the bottom one, clip to your outer of your thermocouple. And then you are good to go. See, you don't have to disconnect it. There we go, that's gonna drop out now. So that's it, that's all you need to do. Now if the thermal couple is working, or the thermal pile, but your water heater will not work, will not maintain a pilot, this is probably gonna be your problem up here. But if you're not getting, even on, I know the SIT valves, right, that a lot of people think that they, they've all failed, test your thermal couple as well, even if it's an SIT valve, because it was just a specific range on there that was having problems. This thermal couple, uh, could be the problem and it's an easy test just to rule that out and then by ruling that out you can get the correct repair repair it once and then uh, you don't have a homeowner that's waiting for uh, hot water i right, hope you like that video hope it helps have a great day